The Facebook ads platform has changed an enormous amount over the past few years, and we have officially a new update that many advertisers haven't even picked up on yet, and it's the flexible ad format. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you what the ad format does, and more importantly, how advertisers can actually benefit from it. So right now I'm in the Facebook ads manager and I'm gonna show you where you can find the flexible ad format. It's gonna be at the ad level. So I'm gonna click into my campaign, click into my ad set and you're gonna see it right here. So what you'll notice is that there's now a new format here on top of single image or video and it says flexible. And this on the right hand side is actually an example I've put together with a few images and a video of some dogs because we all love dogs. And as you can see, it is mixing. These are individual images and this is a video and it's now showing it in different formats. So here we have the video showing up. Here we have a little image carousel. Here we have another carousel here. And so this has the ability to take up to 10 videos and 10 images and mix them together. With the flexible ad format, this is a, more like a collection format. Um, you have also the ability to, from a copy perspective, also have your five different versions of primary text and headline. So this is basically a dynamic creative uh, optimization solution. Now, this is not a brand new capability. Facebook actually had this in the past, and I wanna show you an example of what that used to look like. So before, we used to have dynamic creative, and actually you could still see it in this ad account right here, where we used to be able to turn this on, and for now we could still do it until they sunset this, at the ad set level. So it's a very similar capability. There are some slight differences, but this is basically an evolution of dynamic creative, which used to live here, and now they have brought it to the ad setup screen. And so right now this capability is working for sales campaigns. So if you're optimizing for sales on your website or if you're doing any app promotion campaigns, you can use the flexible ad format. It's also important to note that you cannot have multiple CTAs. So in the past with Dynamic Creative, you used to be able to actually select multiple call to actions. Um, with this format, you cannot, you can only choose one. You can have the multiple headlines and, and uh, multiple primary texts, but you cannot have multiple CTAs. Now, how can you use this? Probably two, two main different ways that advertisers can benefit from this flexible ad creative. And the first one would be, can this be your top performing ads? So creating a new ad and throwing in a mix of images and videos and seeing if that can outperform your best performers, or maybe you take your best performing static images and videos and throw it into one flexible ad format to see if that can outperform. So this is something that you're gonna definitely wanna test um, and see how it ends up performing. But as we know, Facebook loves consolidation and they love to be able to streamline things into their algorithm to drive performance. Facebook ads is always making changes to the platform and it's not just ad formats. Audience targeting has seen massive changes over the last few years. And if you haven't already, make sure to watch this video I made on broad targeting, or you can watch this video I made recently on the state of lookalike targeting. 